How much time? Uh, we have an 11-minute one. Okay, that's fine. What's your next witness? Ellen Barkin. All right. B-A-R-K-I-N. Thank you. Good morning, Ms. Barkin. Good morning. I think the first thing that would be very short but very simple and clean for the record is if you could just describe kind of your career background. I know it's very lengthy, but just give a kind of brief summary of kind of when you started working and, and what you've done during your career. Um, I started acting professionally uh, about 26 or 7. And I did theater, television, movies, lots of them. That's what I did for four years, 40 years. Um, and uh, in the course of your career acting in theater, television, movies, etc., cetera, um, did it, you come to meet a, a person by the name of Johnny Depp? Yes. Can you specify in time, Ms. Barkin, when you met him? I would say 1990. <laughs> And upon or after meeting him, did there come a time when you became friends? Yes. And can you describe how that happened? We just developed a friendship over time that uh, lasted, I guess, if we met in the 90s, maybe 10 years, a little less. Um, and fair to say that Mr. Depp at the time was also an actor, a professional actor? Yes. Um, were you, um, did you act in any film, stage, or TV productions with Mr. Depp? Yes, I was in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. How often would you see Mr. Depp? When I lived in New York, usually whenever I'd go to L.A., if I were in L.A., I'd see him once a week, maybe more. I mean, the friendship went up and down, living on different coasts. And um, did there come a time when your friendship with Mr. De uh, Depp became more than that, became romantic in nature? Yes. And at what point in time did your relationship with Mr. Depp, Depp take a romantic turn? After I had moved to Hollywood. And uh, he, you know, switched the buttons. Recall what year you moved to Hollywood? Yes. Um, 1994. When you say switch the buttons, can you tell me what you meant by that? Um, the friendship went from a purely platonic friendship um, to a romantic one. Um, at that point in 1994, when the relationship turned romantic, uh, to can your you change that to sexual? To sexual. Thank you. For how long did your relationship with uh, Mr. Depp remain sexual? Several months, anywhere between three and five, six. And during that period, how often would you see Mr. Depp? That period when it was sexual? I'd say I'd see him three or four times a week. And again, I'm not looking to pry into, into private details, but can you tell me like where you would see him? Just give me some sense of that. Yeah, he would come to my house. Or I would go to his house. And both houses in L.A.? Yes. About a um, ten-minute drive apart from each other. And um, at, either when you were at his house, um, where you didn't stay the night, or where you were at his house when you did stay the night, were there other people in the house who saw you there? Who would those people be? Um, he had an assistant. <clears throat> His sister, that's all I can remember now. Do you recall the name of the assistant? I don't know his name. He was referred to as Pig. He was referred to by whom as Pig? Johnny Depp.
At any point that you were either initially friends and then sexual with Mr. Depp, uh, were you, did you become aware that he uh, um, drank to excess? I was always aware. Okay, and, and can you explain how you were aware of that? He was drunk all the time, most, a lot of the time. And that would apply both to when you were initially friends and then later when it became sexual? Yeah. And what was he drunk? What, what, what you're understanding, what had he drunk to become drunk? He was a red wine drinker. Okay. Um, in addition to alcohol, um, were you aware at that time that Mr. Uh, uh, Depp um, was taking any prescription medication? No. Okay. Um, same question, Mr. Barkin, for illegal substances. Yes. Same question. And what illegal substances? Lucinogenics. Cocaine. Marijuana. Hallucinogenics. Um, can you say specifically what those were? I don't really know. Okay. He called me and told me he was um, tripping. <clears throat> um, with respect to any of that, uh, hallucinogenics, cocaine, or marijuana, did he do any of that in your presence? Yes. Uh, more than once? All the time. Um, when you say all the time, how many times, again, in the period that you were both first friends and sexual, then sexual with Mr. Depp, do you think you saw him? I couldn't even tell you. I mean, I just know he was always drinking and, or smoking a joint. But would it be fair to say more than at least dozens of times? Yeah. Over the full course, oh yeah. Now, did you ever um, observe, Ms. Barkin, uh, Mr. Depp's behavior change when he uh, drank more or used more drugs? I did not. So he was kind of the same all the time, fair to say? He was not the same. He was high. Did there come a time Ms. Barkin, when uh, Mr. Depp um, acted in a way that was out of control with you? Yes. Uh, Mr. Depp threw a wine bottle across the room, the hotel room, on one instance in Las Vegas while we were shooting Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Were you, was something about to happen? A fight was going on. Between you and Mr. Depp? No. Who was the fight between? Between Johnny Depp and his friends in the room, the assistant. Honestly, I don't remember. And the bottle that, do you remember sitting here today, Ms. Barkin, whether the bottle was full of wine or, or empty? I don't. <laughs> Uh, sitting here today, Ms. Barkin, do you remember uh, whether the bottle hit you? No, it did not. Um, did the bottle hit anyone else? No, it did not. Approximately how far away from you was Mr. Depp when he threw the bottle? Across the room, so maybe by, by that break in the table or a little further down. It was a toss. And... Bro. Uh... Sitting here today, if the bottle had hit you, would it have injured you? Absolutely. Ms. Barkin, was it your understanding back then that he was throwing the bottle at you? I don't know why he threw the bottle. And was it, when he threw it, was it in your direction? Yes. Were there other people standing around you? Yes. So he threw it in your direction at a, at a group of people? Yes. Whose hotel room was it? His Johnny Depp's. Who broke off the He did. How did it come about that Mr. Uh, Depp broke off your relationship? Uh, I went to go home. Uh, there was a big goodbye, crying, a lot of jealous, and do, don't do this, don't do that. And I never heard from him again after that. And did uh, Mr. Depp not want you to go back to Los Angeles at the time? There, uh, yes, he didn't want me to go. I was only supposed to be there for two days. I stayed for longer. And you just referenced uh, 
you just used the word jealous. How, how did that come up? What did he say that indicated to you that you was jealous? He's just a jealous man, controlling where are you going, who are you going with, what, what did you do last night? I had a scratch on my back once that got him very, very angry because he insisted it came from me having sex with a person who wasn't him. During the time that you were in a sexual relationship uh, with Mr. Depp, was it common for him to say things to you about being controlling, to use your words, or being jealous of you? Yeah, very common. And uh, when, in these instances, when Mr. Depp became jealous or controlling, did he also become angry? Yeah, and demanding. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go and take our afternoon recess. Please do not discuss the case. And